My preferred alignment for this class of seven tall heifers is 4312. I begin my class with a heifer I find a logically shorter way to the top with her overall mass, conformation, and the fact of the matter that she excels in overall genotype when based on paper. She's more apt to fit in the pasture scenario of this purebred operation and that she steps down on a larger foot and bone. She's more expansive in her upper rib and she progressively gets deeper from her forerib back. Just as importantly, she has a higher winning weight and yearling weight, which should carry on to her offspring. I find that she has the most potential to raise marketable bulls through the annual sale as well as private treaty heifers to use for show prospects. Now, I do agree that the other red heifer of my class is more striking from the side with a longer, cleaner neck that attaches more correctly into the top of her shoulders. However, I find that she's a tad shallower at the flank, thus leaving her in second. And moving to my intermediate pair, I find the Cavanese heifer 3 to be longer sided and more eye appealing, so she fits in the second hole more logically. She maintains the traits of my class winner being bigger ribbed and having more sweep to the cage. She also appears easier flushing and is more refined in her design, being leveler from hooks to pins and down her side. She's cleaner about the front one third and just overall, she's more striking when you look at her. Now sure one feeds more shape to the back side, exhibiting more muscling definition, yet she has the lowest maternal calving ease and the highest birth weight and tends to roll out of the hip, so I find that she fits in the third hole. Nonetheless, in my bottom pair of black heifers, I keep one over two. Simply put, I take one's advantage in muscling and roundabout structure over the maternal ribbon advantage of data that two portrays. One is more pulled apart down the top, deeper in the flanks, and carries more muscle from behind, which will connect which will carry into the genetics of the sires that she may damn. Furthermore, she stands square off of all four corners with a greater substance of bone. Now, I do agree that two has more sweep of rib, yet for me, I see that she's a little more swayed in her top line. She's cow hawked from the rear and she narrows down the base, so I'll leave her last due to lack of structure stability. Thank you.